What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here and today I want to talk about a topic that is always very popular with the uh, release of next-gen consoles being very close. Uh, of course the PS4 is coming at the end of this year, 2013, and the new Xbox most likely as well. I mean, um, yeah, it's most probably going to be announced somewhere in the coming few uh, months. The rumors uh, suggest that it's going to be announced in April, which seems very logical to me. Um, so yeah, I would assume we will hear about the next Xbox very soon. Uh, but still, as I said, because they are very close to uh, to releasing at the end of this year of course um, you know a topic that is always very popular is backwards compatibility now for the people that don't know what backwards compatibility is it basically means that um, you are able to play your current gen uh, games on the next generation systems so for example backwards compatibility in this case means that you will be able to play your ps3 games on your ps4 or your xbox 360 games on your new xbox um, now what we know so far about the next generation of course i can only talk about the ps4 because that has been announced and the new xbox hasn't been announced yet um, but for the ps4 it is that there won't be backwards compatibility uh, at least not in a way that you will be able to you know put your ps3 discs in the ps4 and play your games that way uh, not even if you you purchase them di digitally then you won't be able to um, yeah play them on the PS4 that's what Sony has said um, and yeah it's official that that won't be happening uh, still there is a possibility which I want to talk about in a few seconds um, but kind of like for the Xbox because Sony is not doing it I don't think Xbox will be doing it either uh, we'll see about that you know it's something that is very highly requested though but you know I will explain the reasons why I think that Sony and Microsoft are not gonna do it um, but still the possibility for your PS3 games to be played on your PS4 you know there's still a possibility because of course Sony bought Gaikai and Gaikai seems to be a big uh, feature for the PS4. Now what they can do with this, and they've said this openly, that they're trying to experiment with stuff like this, um, but of course, as I said, Gaikai is a streaming service, um, and what you could maybe do is actually have your PS3 game streamed on Gaikai, uh, and basically Gaikai streams it to your PS4 again. Uh, you basically play your PS3 games on their uh, servers, and then they stream the, uh, the visuals to your PS4. Um, but yeah, of course, that has not been officially announced yet, and it's not sure whether that's actually coming, but it's still a possibility. Now, the thing with backwards compatibility, it, it of course has to do with nostalgia. I mean, think of this, like, for example, you know, with, with, a, with a handheld like the Nintendo DS, people really ask, um, you know, to be able to play your, like, Game Boy games on the Nintendo DS. Of course, a lot of people, like, play games like Pokemon or something like that on their Game Boys. And then, um, yeah, basically what Nintendo did is they made the DS backwards compatible. You were basically able to, um, yeah, put in your Game Boy Advance, uh, you know, cartridges into the DS and you would be able to play them. Um, and the PS3 actually did the same, for example, with, uh, with PS2 games at launch. This was kind of weird because the PS3, when it came out, it was actually backwards compatible with the PS2. But after like a few uh, years, I believe after one year when the new models came out, um, they came with the 80 gig and 40 gig model, which actually weren't backwards compatible anymore with the PS2. Uh, they were still ba backwards compatible with the PS1, um, but not with the PS2 anymore. Now, why people, of course, really want backwards compatibility to happen is, let me, let me for example, take an example here the Uncharted franchise it's a franchise that I really love and um, you know I'm sure that Uncharted 4 is going to be announced at E3 this year you know for the PS4 of course uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen and then there's there's just a lot of people that are like you know I also want to play the previous three Uncharted games on my PS4 when I have that console um, of course you know Uncharted is really heavily focused on story so you know people will probably really um, you know like to play all the Uncharted games on the same system. So it's like, you know, I can play uh, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 on the PS4 and then also Uncharted 4 on the PS4. Of course, I, I totally understand that there's a lot of people that want backwards compatibility ha to happen. Now, the two reasons I'm going to mention now are basically the reasons why I think that both Sony and Microsoft do not want backwards compatibility to happen on the, uh, you know, on the next generation systems. Now, first of all, for the, uh, for the PS4, uh, an exclusive reason is that the PS3 had, of course, the cell processor, and that was just something very very, uh, it was a very unique processor and basically you know because the PS4 now has a lot of this computer hardware in it and um, they they just won't be able to run PS3 games on the PS4 because of that because you know those games just require the pro the cell processor and you're not gonna get that cell processor on the PS4 the PS4 won't have that anymore so that's basically why it's already impossible to play your PS3 games on the PS4 and um, this is of course why Gaikai actually can stream your games to the to the PS4 though because you know you will be able to play 
um, um, your PS3 games on the Gaikai servers, on their Playstations, their Playstation 3s, which actually do have star processors. And basically, uh, yeah, that way they just stream it to your PS4, but you, so you can still play those there. Um, but then again, you know, the, reasons, the reason why I don't think that backwards compatibility is going to happen is just because of sales. I mean, you have to think of it this way, right? That, um, you know, if people, if backwards compatibility, say it is possible for your PS3, PS4 and your new Xbox say that is possible then what are you gonna do with your current system you're gonna sell that a lot of people are gonna sell that you know a lot of people when they see like oh I can now play my PS3 games also on my PS4 well why do I still have a PS3 let's sell it that's what a lot of people think then and what that also means is that some people are gonna buy those PS3 second hand or they are gonna buy the uh, Xbox 360 second hand now Sony and Microsoft don't want that of course they want those people to buy them new because they're not gonna make any profit on that that way um, so that's of course it's just yeah sales is a big factor in this as well that that is why you know PlayStation decided not to um, you know not to have backwards compatibility for the PS2 on the PS3 anymore after a year they were like yeah we made this mistake we shouldn't we shouldn't have backwards compatibility on the PS3 so you know this is basically a reason why I don't think it's going to happen on you know both the new PS4 and the new uh, Xbox but still we have to wait and see of course for that now my conclusion to this like is it really bad is it really bad that we're not gonna have you know backwards compatibility in my eyes it is it is not because um, just just think of it this way like when the PS4 is out when the new Xbox is out and you're gonna play those games on there like for example for the PS4 Uncharted 4 or Killzone Shadowfall or something like that like those games are gonna be such a big step ahead from PS3 games or older games you know when you think of it this way that uh, you know they first of all look better they probably play better they have new new features in it that really make the um, yeah the older games outdated on the on the older generation systems so you know once you start playing your PS3 games on your PS4 again on your or your uh, Xbox 360 games on your new Xbox again you're really gonna start to feel that those games are like outdated and um, yeah I mean that's what happened with the HD collections right a lot of people ask for like HD collections of PS2 games for the PS3 and of course we, we saw that happening like we got the Jack and Dexter trilogy uh, we, we also got the Eco and Shadow of the Colossus trilogy but you know people really saw those as, as just yeah legendary games of course and they really loved them in the in the time at the time when they came out um, but, but you know once you start playing them on the ps3 again you start you, you start thinking like wow they weren't actually that great but of course they were but they were for the time when they came out they are not that great anymore right now so just just because they're yeah they are a bit outdated in both gameplay and graphics um, and that is basically the whole thing like I mean right now people are like I, I also want to play my current generation games on the uh, new generation but that's just because you haven't played much yet from the new generation you don't you don't really know yet what you can expect and you probably can expect just a lot of new innovations and uh, yeah you know technology changes better graphics better gameplay everything plays smoother and stuff like that that you're really yeah you're not gonna miss those games anymore that you played on the older generations uh, so that is basically just my conclusion to the whole story I think Think it's just re not really needed once you start playing on your new generation system yeah you're just gonna see that um, you know you don't really want to play games anymore with the older systems but of course that's just my opinion and um, yeah I mean again we all have our own opinion so just let me know what you think about um, you know this whole topic do you still think that backwards compatibility is really needed for the next generation systems and um, yeah just let me know in the comments of course I always try to reply to people um, and of course you know if you have a topic for the next video for me to talk about then be sure to let me know in the comments um, of course, you know, I, I'm still looking for great topics to talk about. So if you have a suggestion, then yeah, be sure to let me know. And of course, for more videos about the gaming industry, just check, you know, check the thumbnails right here. You can click on them for uh, other videos. And then that's pretty much it. I want to thank you a lot for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Mm -hmm.